Welcome back to the Avalon Guns YouTube channel. Hello everyone, my name is Jake. We're here once again at the Mendip store. We have both the street store and the Mendip store, just in case you don't know. We do like to go over this just in case we have newcomers to the channel. Please remember to subscribe to the channel so you can see and keep up to date with all the other videos we've got going on. So we're doing loads again now. In this video, we're going to be showing you the fairly new model Beretta Ultra Leggero, which has taken over from the Beretta Ultra Light. Ultra Light, obviously, being the weight, is very, very light. Firstly, from our last video, we were offering to give away, as soon as the video got to 50 likes, a free hat or beanie up to the winner's choice. It's been picked at random by Nick, not me, so don't blame me, but Charles Sutherland, you have one. We'll reply to your comment to get your address and we'll post you one of these out for free. What we're going to do for everyone, once again in this video, as soon as it gets to 50 likes, leave a comment, let us know what you think of the video or anything else to do with Avalon Guns or the YouTube channel, and we'll pick someone at random once again to have a free Avalon hat or beanie. So it's easy as that. Back to the gun. So we've got the Beretta, Italian made Beretta. They're produced in a massive number um, as they're so popular. This one is a black action, which is really clean look. It's got black trigger guards, black trigger, black action. The 4M metal is black and obviously matches with the blue barrels. Um, the model is called the Ultra Leggero, which is taken over from the previous model of the Ultra Light. Now, the Ultra Light came in lots of different variants. It had different finishes and different engraving. Mainly, well, it was all built on the same action, on a 687 series action, but it was an alloy plated action. So this one has taken that over. Um, it's got a really nice finish on the action. When you move in the light, you can see it change. It picks up, it's both symmetrical engraving, so it's the same on both sides. On the underside of the action, it carries on the scroll black theme, and it says Ultra Leggero in the signature writing with the Beretta Trident badge there. So starting at the back, we've got these new style Beretta pads, which have a really smooth finish at the top, that's so you don't catch it on your armpit when you're mounting the gun up. So that's quite a nice new feature you've got on these new pads. Very smooth there and then you've got the grip here on the rest of it so when it goes into your shoulder it's not moving around up and down and in a comfortable position. These pads are available on our website as an extra so you can get different length pads to easily extend the length of pull or make the length of pull shorter which we have been through but length of pull is measured from the trigger to the end at the middle. So lots of people sometimes assume that the stock length is from the start of the wood here to the end, which is actually measured from the trigger here to the end. So if you'd like to change your length of pull, reason being that it's too long or short, then you can easily put another pad on to make it longer or shorter. These pads are interchangeable. There's just two screws here at the end of the stock inside the pad. Undo the two screws and it just clips on and clips off. Unlike other guns, you may find you take a pad off to put the new pad on, they come oversized. These pads are available on the shelf, on the website. They come exactly as fitted here. Uh, there's different variants, field and sporting, uh, with a few other variants like trap, but these ones are the same type. As long as you choose field, they're gonna go straight on there. Um, it does, on this, it has extra light. Um, because it's got a hollow pad and goes in theme with the rest of the gun, but you can change it for the normal pads as well. Uh, moving up from there, as you can see with both of these guns, they've both got very nice woodwork. Um, they've upgraded wood to the standard level of wood which you'd get on ultralight. These ones are walnut stocks, very, very nice. Moving forward from there, we've got the pistol grip as normal. So if that's a full pistol grip, you can get a semi-pistol grip on other guns and a straight hand stock on, it, on some other guns. This one's a full pistol grip, that's just for comfort with your hand. We've got the standard traditional game V-cut checkering, which provides good grip, that's matching on forehand and stock of course. Moving up to the trigger, it's a fixed trigger, not adjustable, if it was a competition gun, I'm sure Beretta would put an adjustable rail in there to move the trigger up and down. That one's a fixed trigger, it's also black. On a lot of the Berettas you get golden triggers, which is just for the extra feature and to make it pretty. This one's black to go in theme with the action and the barrels. On top of the gun here, you've got the safety catch. This safety goes back and forwards. 
it's got the S there to show you that it's safe. When it's back, you push it forwards, it takes it off of safe. Also on the safety, you've got two dots on one side, you can move that across, and you've got the red dot on the top, which fires the back top barrel first, then bottom. Move it to the left, and you fire the bottom barrel, then top. We normally recommend bottom barrel first here. Also on this safety, you push it forward, it's got an auto safe bar, so that's attached to the top lever. Cock the top lever across, and you'll see that safety cock back into the safe position. So each time you reload, you have to put the safety forward, just an extra step on the safety features of this gun. Up from there, as we've said, we've got this black action with scroll finish here. Symmetrical on both sides and the underside of the action, again, it's got the black scrolling. Really pretty, stands out in the light as you can move around here and see. From there, we've got the rounded forend, so sometimes you'll get a schnabel forend at the end, which, which people like to know where their hand is at the end of the, of the forend. This one, you can have it rounded and hold the end with comfort. Lots of people do tend to round off forends that haven't got the schnabel forend. Um, that's got a new button lever style forend now, so it's just a small button rather than the normal lever you might see. And the next feature to show you is the side ribs. It is ribless on this one, so that will help with the weight of the gun to drop the weight down a little bit. It also helps cool the barrels down, so if you're shooting lots in a short period of time, the barrels will get hot with the cartridges running through there, so the heat is released out of the sides as well. On top of the barrels, the rib, so this gun has got a rib. It's got a narrow game rib, which is again ventilated, so you've got these slots again to let heat out. And then lastly, to show you, is the end of the gun. There is multi-chokes in this one, so inside the Bretta case, which is included when you purchase one of these, are a set of spares, so here in the UK what we get with these Ultra Legeros are two chokes inside the barrel pre-fitted and three spares, so you get a set of five, you get the Bretta choke key, um, a small tub of oil, and then we've then got the swivels for the sling. So in some European countries they do like to screw into the wood so you can have a sling on the barrel and stock. Not that common here in England, because we don't like to screw into the nice walnut. So moving back from there, we then have these two models on the table. There is a difference between them, so we've got the standard Beretta Ultra Legero, and then we've got the second one on the table, which is a Beretta Ultra Legero Vittoria. So the Vittoria model is a ladies gun, which there's slightly different features on the ladies gun. If I put them up together, you might be able to see easier. So the length of pull is shorter on this side. So as you can see, the trigger's slightly below. It's a shorter length of pull. We've got a smaller radius on the pistol grip here, which just makes for a comfier grip with smaller hands. And we've then got a higher comb height here. As you can see, with the Monte Carlo style stock, it's much higher for a high cheekbone. Last thing that's different on the ladies Vittoria model is that it's got a negative toe, so the way it's cut at the end of the stock is at a negative angle just so it doesn't dig in when you're mounting the gun. So that all those features really do help with the fitting and make it comfortable for ladies to shoot. These are both available at our Mendip store, they're 12 bores, both 28 inch barrels, both with multi choke and brand new. If you have any questions please let us know in the comments. You'll also be entered free for the chance to win one of the hats. Please remember to like the video and subscribe and let us know if you'd like to see anything more.